and welcome to our online basic business administration for informal traders brought to you by CEDA, the Small Enterprise Development Agency. Business administration is a very important business function that allows businesses to keep track and administer their daily operations. This also helps with a very important function known as bookkeeping, which will be later dealt with in module two. In our learning map under business administration, we'll cover the first module, we'll cover our introduction, and most importantly, we'll also cover source documents, which are basically all the documentation that's needed to record and write down all your business operations as and when they happen. Under our introduction, we'll cover what is business administration. Simply put, business administration is a systematic recording or administration of all the financial transactions of a business. Bookkeeping ensures that the transactions are recorded as and when they happen in terms of all your cash receipts, of all your cash payments, also including your debtor's receipts and your debtor's payments, which is mainly all the payments and receipts that are made in credit. Source documents. In any business, transactions should be recorded in a systematic manner as and when they happen. This recording process should include the development of the following. Under your source documents, you should have your delivery notes, which are basically the notes that are issued after each delivery is made. You should also have your invoices, which are issued when sales are made, whether on cash or credit. A procedure on how and when to use the source document and the safekeeping of the document after the transaction has been recorded is very important. A business must use printed or written source documents to ensure that the following information is clearly printed. A business name should be clearly visible, including the registration number where applicable, a business should have its contact details and the address where applicable and also state the product or service that the business delivers. Very importantly, the selling price of the product or service should be clearly noted on the document. Where VAT is charged or applicable, a VAT amount should also be included. Last but not least, the date of when and when the transactions actually take place. The following are the generic or commonly used document used in a business. We have a delivery note. If goods are sold on account or credit and delivered to the client, the business issues a delivery note which should be signed by the client or his or her representative. This serves as proof that the delivery has taken place and the goods or services have been received. This is very important for business administration and bookkeeping purposes. This is an example of a delivery note. Madiba Mega Market, PO Box 1555, you'll see the address is clearly noted. The packaging is noted and the quantities are noted. And the type of products which are served are also noted. And importantly, if the company is VAT registered, the VAT amount should be clearly printed and the net price clearly shown on the note. If the customer returns goods, which were delivered to a customer by the business or enterprise, a credit note is issued to reduce the customer's debt where purchases were done on credit and where the purchases were done on cash and money is then returned back to the customer. 
This is an example of a credit note. You'll see again, the business's name is clearly printed. The address is clearly printed. Also, the amount is clearly printed. The unit price number, including the tax amount. Invoices. There are two types of invoices. This is a cash sale invoice where a cash transaction has taken place. Also, there's a credit sale invoice where goods or services were sold on account or credit. A cash sale invoice where goods are sold by the business can be handwritten on a notebook or printed using a computer printer. The copy or duplicate in the cash sales invoice book is used to record the transaction in the cash receipt book. This basically means that in order to generate cash invoices, a business should have a receipt book where every cash sale is noted down or a computer where cash sale invoices can be printed when and when they happen. Depending on the type of business and bookkeeping system, the cash sale invoice can be the same document as the normal invoice used for credit transactions. This is an example of a cash sale invoice. As we can see, again, the number of the business or enterprise is clearly printed, in this case in the left-hand corner. The address is printed. There's also a VAT registration number clearly printed and contact details. Again, description and amount of the goods procured, including the tax and therefore showing the total price VAT inclusive. A credit sale invoice. If the business sells good on credit or account to a customer, an invoice is issued as proof of the transaction. This is loosely referred to as the credit sale invoice. The client, his or her authorized representative must sign the invoice as proof that the goods were received. This is an example of a credit sale invoice. Again, the business name is clearly printed. We have the address. We have the VAT and the registration number and the description of all the products, quantities, packaging, including the vent amount, are clearly printed. There is also space for signature and initials and, most importantly, the date of when the sale invoice has taken place. If money is received from a client for payment of an account, a receipt is issued of the transaction. This basically means that if an account has been paid, the business has to reduce the debt of the account holder. A receipt is issued of the proof of the payment of that debt. Same as the credit and cash invoice, the receipt should have the business's address, registration number, contact details, and also the amount by which the account has been reduced. This basically means that when the account is paid, there should be a receipt for that payment. As you can clearly see, there's a space for signature, initials, and the date. Deposit slip. If a business person deposits money into a business account, a bank deposit slip must be completed by the bank. This is the same as if a customer pays the business on account, then the business should issue the customer a receipt to show that the account has been paid. The deposit slip, which is furnished by the bank free of charge, must be completed in duplicate. This basically means that the bank will keep the original and then the customer who is depositing the money or the business will keep the other copy as proof. The bank 
retains the original copy, which is scanned and, and signed by the cashier or a bank representative, and this serves as proof to record the transaction. As we can see from all the source documents that we are dealing with, these only form to enhance your business administration function. All these functions and all these source documents therefore later form part of your bookkeeping process, which as we've said, will be covered in module number two. This is an example of a deposit slip. It has, in this case, the name of the bank, the address of the bank, the branch code, and also the account number. This is very different from the source documents that are generated by the business, where we said that the business should have the name, address, VAT number, and contact details. Please note that in the case of a bank, the only requirements are the bank's name, its branch code, the account number, and the name of the client, which in this case is the business. This will also specify all the amounts in terms of notes and coins which are deposited, which will then be tabulated or ended and will reflect the total cash deposit. Supplier's invoice. Depending on whether or not the supplier is registered for VAT, the supplier's invoice also contains the minimum information. This information will have the supplier's name, supplier's contact, supplier's registration number, and VAT where applicable. Clearly, when goods are supplied, the specific goods, packaging, quantities, unit price, VAT inclusive, and the total amount will also be displayed. Again, please note there will be space for the signature, initials, and surname of the representative and importantly, the date on when the goods or services were supplied. Thank you very much. For any further inquiries, do not hesitate to contact our CEDA website at www.ceda.org.za. Thank you.